Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss our topic that what is automatic repeat request or ARQ. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in data transmission and you want to learn about it. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. Friend, automatic repeat request ARQ also called automatic repeat query is an error control protocol that automatically initiates a call to retransmit any data packet or frame after receiving flawed or incorrect data. When the transmitting device fails to receive an acknowledgement signal to confirm the data has been received, it usually retransmits the data after a predefined timeout and repeats the process a predetermined number of times until the transmitting device receives the acknowledgement. ARQ are often used to assure reliable transmissions over an unreliable service. Now the types of automatic repeat request ARQ are basically there are three main types of ARQ are the stop and wait ARQ, go back and ARQ and selective repeat ARQ. Stop and wait ARQ is the simplest ARQ. It has one of one frame at a time sent with no additional frames sent until reception of the previous one is confirmed via an acknowledgement signal. Go back N ARQ is a much more complex protocol. It allows frames to be sent even it if previous frames were received without an acknowledgement signal. This protocol keeps track of the sequence when the last frame is received it requests retransmission of the frames sent without an acknowledgement. This is repeated until all frames are received with an acknowledgement signal. However, this protocol may result in many frames being sent multiple times, which can be avoided by using the selective repeat ARQ protocol. Selective repeat ARQ may be used for the delivery and acknowledgement of sent data packets or the delivery of subdivided messages in subunits. In the first methodology, the protocol continues to accept and acknowledge frames sent after an initial error. It continues during doing this until a specified number of frames have been received called window size. There is a window size for both transmitting and receiving and they must be equal. The sequence number of all frames not received are tracked and sent back to the transmitter. The sender continues sending frames of uh, unacknowledged data until its window size is reached. It has emptied its window. When this happens, the sender resends the frame number given by the acknowledgement signal and continues when it is left off. In the second methodology using subdivided messages, the process is different. Non-continuous communication channels are used where messages vary in length, but the protocol treats the message as a signal unit. ARQ with variable length messages have increased difficulty with longer messages because each repeated message is full length. However, a selective retransmission of variable length messages when using selective repeat ARQ eliminates the difficulty with delivering longer messages. Next is friend uh, where ARQ resides. Friend, ARQ protocol reside in the data link or transport layers of the OSI model. TCP uses a variant of go back and ARQ to ensure reliable data transmission over the internet protocol. However, it does not uh, guarantee delivery of data packets. If TCP uses selective acknowledgement, selective repeat ARQ is used when local area networks LAN have noisy environment selective repeat ARQ is employed with packet segmentation. So friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video I hope you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.